This week, I thought we'd mix it up a little bit and get you guys to pick my five mystery ingredients. I just thought it'd be a little bit fun this week to see what you guys at home would think would be a good ingredient for me to cook with. Whether you'd be kind or you'd really stitch me up. So let's have a look. Mm. Baby potatoes, cauliflower, probably like the most trendy vegetable of 2021 and 20. Everyone's into like the disco collies and collie rice. Eggs, great staple, classic. Ginger, I don't know if you like being in the jar, but I'll go with that. Heinz ketchup. Okay. Okay, this one was challenging only because I was fine with all the other ingredients. I could totally see Asian recipes straight away. It was the new potatoes that just kind of threw me off. So I'm going to stick with the Asian feel. I'm going to make kind of like little appetizers, like little party snacks. So I'm going to do little bang bang style broccoli um, dippers. I'm going to do some little crispy Hasselback new potatoes with like a kind of salt and pepper Chinese seasoning and make a really nice and a sticky dipping sauce for them both. Let's get to it. So I'm going to break the cauliflower down into little pieces and then I'm going to create a little panning station with some flour, egg and some crispy panko, panko breadcrumbs. So keeping with the theme, I'm going to add some flavourings to our flour mixture and the egg. I always like to flavour the egg and the flour because that's what you, anything you're panning is going to stick to. I find if you season the breadcrumbs too much, the flavour kind of gets burnt and lost once it goes into the oil or the oven. So I'm going to add some turmeric, some Chinese five spice, a little bit of garlic powder and some white pepper. And again, just add a pinch of each because we don't want it to be too overpowering. Give that a quick little mix together and then I'm going to put my cauliflower into the flour, egg, breadcrumbs and onto a baking tray lined with some greaseproof paper. Give it a quick spray with some olive oil. You can use any spray oil. And this is just to help them get a really nice golden crispy coating in the oven. And they're ready to go in now and bake. So I'm gonna make little Hasselback potatoes. I'm gonna put them into some water just to kind of parboil them for about four to five minutes just to soften them and to speed up the cooking. So I'll be using my very lazy chopped ginger. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic. Chop it up some more with a bit of red chili. And then I'll move on to my sauce part. So now for the sauce, using the main ingredient, the ketchup, I'm going to go in with some of that. That's going to add kind of a sweet and saltiness. A bit more sweet is going to go with some maple. Honey would also work. This is going to help it get really sticky as well when we put it in the pan because it will reduce. I'm going to add some vinegar. Rice wine would work better here, but white wine will do as well. Some sweet chilli for a bit of subtle heat. Sriracha because it seems to make its way into every single what's in the box some soy and then I'm going to season it with salt and pepper but I'm going to use some white pepper it's just a bit more subtle and it's got a little bit of heat to it pinch of five spice and some salt and we're ready to go I'm going to give the sauce a quick taste now oh spicy that's nice it's sweet and it's sour which is exactly what I wanted I'm going to drain the potatoes and use that exact same pan to make my sauce to, to reduce it so it gets nice and sticky. I've just parboiled these, they're not completely soft, but they're still soft to the touch. So with a sharp knife, I'm just gonna make incisions all the way across, stopping before I get to the very bottom. And that is how we're gonna create our little Hasselback potato. Our sauce is ready. I've just had it on medium high heat for about five minutes just to reduce it so it gets nice and thick. And oh my God, it smells amazing. So that's ready, we can set that aside. I'm gonna get my potatoes now that I've just used a knife to go right down the middle, stopping at the bottom. I'm gonna dust these in some salt and some olive oil and put them to hot oven to crisp up. So I've got these on a lime baking tray. I'm just gonna spritz them with some olive oil and a good sprinkling of some sea salt. And while they're in the oven, we're gonna recreate our own salt and pepper seasoning mix. 
So now for our salt and pepper seasoning. Obviously that's full of so many mystery ingredients. So I'm gonna keep it more simple. So garlic powder, salt. But obviously it's got a little sweet taste as well. So I'm gonna go in with some caster sugar, about a teaspoon. Chinese five spice. A little bit of heat with some chili flakes. Oh, that was quite a lot of heat. <laughs> bit of white pepper. And then aromat. This is a seasoning, but it's got a kind of savory stock flavor. It's delicious. So I'm gonna go in with some of that. And then give that a mix together. And that is our salt and pepper seasoning to toss in our little Hasselback potatoes once they're nice and crispy. The cauliflower and the potatoes have been in for about 25 minutes now. I'm gonna take them out of the oven and we're ready to plate up. You can see how golden and crispy the cauliflower's got. You don't even need to boil it first because the steam and the moisture just comes out of it and now it's super soft and crispy. And then the potatoes, when you do a Hasselback, as they cook and the oven expand, they start to separate. Wow, these are hot potatoes. <laughs> and you can just see how they start to separate. These are the perfect little crevices for our homemade salt and pepper seasoning. So I'm gonna go in now and sprinkle my cauliflower and my potatoes with this. Just gonna chop up some spring onion for a bit of garnish. Little tip whenever you're doing anything for garnish with chilies, garlic or spring onion, chop on the angle. It just looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye rather than doing a straight cut. I'm ready to start plating up. So I'm gonna layer my cauliflower on one side and my crispy little Hasselbacks on the other. And I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of sesame seeds and some of our spring onions. Now, it's all fine and well me saying how good it tastes, but we know who the most honest taste tester is. Bring in the big man. Dad? Yeah? Come on. <laughs> Oh, He's too God. big for the camera. <laughs> Go on your knees. Right, you have to... right, Dad, I've yeah. got cauliflower, <laughs> Hasselback potatoes, and a sweet chili dipping sauce. Try some first. Try both. Okay. I'll try potato first. Go on, I'll try cauliflower first. This is very spicy. Can you swap sides? Mm. That is crispy. Wow, that is really lovely. And with the cauliflower, it's actually kind of a healthier alternative. Rather than deep frying it, you still get that crispy coating just from oven baking. Nice. Mm. All right, oh, I lost the potato. Oh, that's Sorry, my dog too. I'm too <laughs> dog for Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> no, well, I'm going to change my dog pot for this afternoon. What do you think? Delicious. Yeah? I love that. I think this brings everything to life unbelievably. Maybe a bit too. Why is he for first thing in the morning? It's a bit hot. <laughs> but quite good for coming back late at night from the restaurant. Anyway, well done, Gabby. I must dash now and go and change my top. <laughs> Bye. Guys, that was it for another What's in the Box Wednesday. Thanks for watching. And then comment below if you want to pick my ingredients for next week's box. See you later.